Hi everyone, welcome to my review of Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope from 1977, written and directed by George Lucas. And uh, yes, we are finally here to discuss Star Wars. Um, so, you know, what can I say? You know, the time has finally come and um, here we are um, to talk about all nine episodes. Um, so, a new series once again has begun on the channel and um, starting with A New Hope, of course, and um, yeah, going through, um, you know, the rest of the trilogy and the originals. Then I'll be doing the prequels and then finishing um, with the sequels. That's how I watched it on this entire kind of um, a watch of the series um, recently, a few months ago, and um, that's the way I do recommend, you know, kind of seeing these films, uh, you know, you get the, the teaser of the prequels anyway, you know, the originals, and then, yeah, going through after that, you know, to the sequels, um, you know, really just in order of release, um, I guess, uh, in that sense, and uh, yeah, what can I say, you know, first of all, spoiler warning, um, I would not want to ruin this for you, of course, if you haven't seen this film, uh, you know, or the original films, you know, in the trilogy, uh, you know, I simply recommend seeing them first, um, of course, you know, recommend Star Wars, and uh, then coming back to this video, and uh, we can go from there, um, because I always kind of give spoilers um, to you, and um, yeah, I will be, um, I won't be kind of mentioning really, actually, you know, Empire Strikes Back and Return of Jedi in this um, video, um, really, I'll kind of try to as well, kind of, uh, yeah, just talk about this film and not uh, give spoilers potentially for those films, uh, really, um, but yes, you know, if you haven't seen this film, uh, you know, I simply recommend seeing it and then come back to this video. So yes, with all that said, let's dig in and uh, yes, let's discuss Star Wars. Um, what can I say? Um, truly, truly, uh, one of my absolute, we'll say it now, favourite films of all time and, uh, you know, I just uh, am truly obsessed with this film. Uh, you know, I've watched it, you know, for as long as I can remember, of course. Um, the VHS um, special editions, you know, the entire trilogy, um, you know, I had access to, you know, for as far as I can remember, yes, um, you know, four or five, uh, watching these films. Uh, there were some of the first films that I remember, you know, putting in um, to the actual VHS player and, uh, you know, watching these films, you know, just on my own and stuff. And, um, yeah, truly, truly, uh, you know, special to me. And, uh, of course, initially this film, you know, it's, of course, iconic now, um, but, you know, back when it was before it was released, you know, it was not met with, um, you know, kind of positivity, you know, this project, and uh, Lucas had tried and tried um, to kind of get this made, and uh, many people were pushing this back and uh, saying it wouldn't work, um, you know, saying it was weird, um, but, you know, there were some that were kind of, um, you know, positive about this, uh, including, of course, Lucas's, you know, a great friend, um, Steven Spielberg, uh, of course, and, uh, you know, it did kind of think it would be successful, and, um, yeah, they did actually have a bet, you know, on that at one point, but, you know, that's a a story for another time, uh, but yes, you know, uh, initially at least, yes, um, this was not going about for, um, you know, Lucas, and um, he didn't think, you know, it would be made, and uh, finally, of course, released in 1977, and uh, really cinema changed, uh, you know, this uh, is one of those films you can really imagine cinema, without this, uh, you know, The Wizard of Oz as well, you know, these kinds of films, uh, you know, James Bond, the very first Bond film, uh, they are kind of milestones um, where you think it'd be interesting, it'd be weird, um, it's going to be walking around and, and not you know, kind of knowing of uh, these films, you know, back at the time, and um, yeah, in that sense, you know, this is uh, just, uh, of course, one of the most iconic, um, but it, you know, it really, did, it was a shame that, um, you know, it's kind of all that, that pushback, uh, you know, and stuff, but, you know, eventually, um, Lucas um, released this, and of course, he did as well outline the kind of uh, original trilogy, you know, he had all these ideas, and uh, he did as well, you know, um, have, you know, the prequels in mind, and um, the story, and all this, the ideas for what would happen, and, uh, you know, in that sense, the entire universe, really, um, he had in mind uh, when he released this film, um, so, you know, in that sense as well, it's great to see, um, you know, pick up on all the different subtle hints, you know, in this film, uh, you know, it's, you know, kind of a form of a beginning, middle and end, and it is this kind of standalone, in a way, um, you could say, adventure film, uh, but it has so many different hints, uh, you know, kind of moments where it kind of um, suggests things that would come, and, uh, you know, I love um, seeing this film again, uh, just to pick up on those things, um, but, you know, in itself, Star Wars A New Hope um, is one of my absolute 15 um, easily favourite films of all time, and uh, that's all I'll, I'll give there, um, but, you know, just, um, you know, it could be, of course, in certain places, um, but, you know, we'll leave that for um, favourite films lists and all this kind of stuff in the future. But Star Wars, you know, the very first one, uh, is truly special to me, and, uh, you know, I do really think this is, one of the absolute greatest films ever made, and, uh, you know, just in every single regard, um, you know, the storytelling in itself simply is uh, majestic, um, you know, it is a fun film, uh, you know, it never kind of slows down, it's the, the flow of this film is stunning, um, you know, just over two hours, of course, and uh, from the very opening shots, um, of course, the, the title crawl, you know, the kind of, um, the crawl kind of giving you backstory and stuff, you know, just, um, you know, what a genius idea to do this, and, uh, of course, every single time, 
when that comes on, you know, and you have the title and, and, the, and the theme, of course, uh, by John Williams, every single time, no matter what episode it is that I'm watching, you know, kind of Star Wars film, uh, you know, it truly, um, you know, it just knocks me back and, uh, you know, it just, it gives me goosebumps and, uh, you know, every single thing from the opening um, kind of crawl here and um, the opening shots, um, which are just, uh, you know, mind-blowing uh, to the very final moments, of course, in the throne room. Uh, this is just uh, beyond cinematic perfection and, uh, you know, it's one of the most fun, you know, kind of energetic films. Uh, you know, it's just um, one of the most deep films. You know, mythology, of course, is set up here um, with ease, though. You know, it seems like Lucas um, is telling the story of ease and uh, he doesn't get bogged down in, you know, the, the scenes where perhaps, you know, in, in other films, you know, it would be, you know, really lengthy uh, exposition in a way that is dry. Um, but in this film, it's just so interesting, uh, of course. The universe in this, um, well, let's just say, you know, rarely have I been, uh, you know, kind of invested in a world, a universe, uh, as much as, you know, in this original trilogy, um, you know, it just is mind-blowing. And, uh, of course, the force itself, um, you know, everything that is kind of hinted at um, and set up in this film, uh, it really is stunning. In fact, it's very short for what, you know, this film is kind of setting up. And, you know, of course, being an adventure film, uh, you know, it has this spirit to it, um, this energy, this wit as well. You know, it's just a hilarious film at times and uh, as well. We have these epic moments, you know, the duel between Vader and uh, Obi Wan, and uh, of course, these you know stunning, uh, you know, kind of uh, shiver-worthy, um, you know, space battles at the end, of course, with the Death Star, and uh, all the way until the final moments, uh, of course, and the credits come up. You know, this is just one of my absolute favourite films, and uh, yes, of course, um, starting with yes, the opening crawl, um, you know, it really is something else, and uh, you know, I saw these films from a very young age, um, you know, seeing these. Um, on VHS and uh, you know the special editions I'm not here to kind of debate you know uh, the different editions of this film um, but yes you know I saw the special editions of course on uh, VHS and um, yeah just gradually seeing them in different copies you know on DVD at one point and then you know finally here now you know with Blu-ray and uh, you know seeing them uh, you know all nine films in the Skywalker saga um, set um, so it really is something uh, to actually think back to um, you know my first experiences you know uh, Revenge of the Sith um, you know, and uh, you know, Attack of the Clones at one point when I was watching these films it wasn't even released. Uh, you know, and it was just, yeah, it's very interesting to kind of um, think. In regards to the prequels, um, you know, they have grown on me um, more and more um, as I watched them. But you know, initially it was actually I had access to um, you know Phantom Menace shortly after Attack of the Clones uh, when I was a kid, and uh, eventually Revenge of the Sith. Um, but you know, even though I had access to all these films. I was definitely much more leaning towards um, the originals, and uh, those would be the ones I just watched constantly, and uh, I didn't really in a way associate you know kind of um the prequels with this original um you know kind of work and i was just very it was very separate to me i knew it was star wars um but it wasn't i wasn't anywhere near as interested in those films uh, as the originals and uh, you know just i was so addicted to seeing these films i watched them over and over again i think the new hope um is the one i've seen the most um looking back on it and uh, you know just off memory uh, and just the fact that it's an adventure film like this uh kind of um, going to different locations starting off you know, Tatooine and um, going, you know, of course, into higher space and, uh, you know, just this fantastical film, of course, you know, fantasy sci-fi film uh, that I'm just, you know, so obsessed with and uh, always have been in a sense. Uh, you know, we have this wonderful world in which Lucas has created, um, this, you know, fantastical, wacky um, at times world, um, but, you know, it's grounded so much in these characters, uh, relatable characters, um, of course, like Luke Skywalker. We start off... Um, after we have the kind of opening sequences, you know, with Darth Vader, um, believe it or not, you know, kind of introduced, um, you know, in the first kind of 10 minutes, you know, we have one of the greatest characters, um, a contender for the ultimate character, you know, villain in cinema. Um, and, uh, yeah, just introduced, of course, we have Princess Leia, we have C-3PO, um, R2-D2, and um, we have all these different characters being introduced. And uh, then we end up on this kind of desert-like um, planet, uh, Tatooine, with Luke Skywalker, this uh, kind of essentially this farm boy, um, you know, who's kind of doing different things for those who bring him up and um yeah it's just kind of going about he's not too happy um you know of course and uh, we have that moment where really um star wars truly truly um you know um, begins and that is of course the binary sunset moment uh dual suns of course everyone knows the moment and uh you know when luke is kind of looking in um you know on the horizon and uh you know of course the music kicks in and uh you know and that is just one of the greatest moments in cinema history and uh you know i just get shivers every time you know i break down in tears um you know i think i did connect to this moment so much as a kid um but certainly you know when i was uh, a teenager and then you know kind of get older or older um i guess and every time i saw it from then i was definitely um even more kind of um, moved um i think by this moment and uh it's a, such a relatable character um you know luke skywalker um 
really, I think, uh, in many ways, uh, and I can say this with five different characters in the franchise, you know, Luke is perhaps my favourite, you know, kind of in terms of, um, you know, the character who I relate to and I can get behind and, you know, follow this narrative um, throughout these films and, um, yeah, just this original trilogy, of course, and, um, yeah, just um, the way he wants to kind of, he wishes for more and he kind of, um, he looks in wonder, of course, and uh, on Horizon and uh, we have that moment with the two sons there and, uh, you know, as a kid, you know, I just thought, well, magical, you know, magical moment, you know, I was just, I couldn't describe this moment until I was a bit older and even then, you know, I can't really fully describe this moment now, what it means to me, but it really is, it's about, you know, um, looking on the horizon, uh, hoping for things to come uh, that you can't quite see and uh, being, you know, just amazed, you know, and kind of in the sense of wonder and, uh, you know, just, I think this kind of foreshadows the rest of the trilogy, um, really, and uh, it sums up the feeling of Star Wars, uh, this magical feeling, uh, of course, that you can't quite describe, and, uh, you know, just that moment there, um, you know, just uh, always moves me, and, uh, you know, it just brings me to tears, of course, and the music there, um, it's, it's one of the best, you know, kind of scored scenes, I think, in cinema, and, uh, you know, just, let's just say now, you know, John Williams, um, wow, you know, my absolute favourite film composer, and um, I think, you know, this original trilogy, especially A New Hope and uh, The Empire Strikes Back, um, you know, certainly a contender for, you know, um, well, We'll get to those, but you know, um, let's just say um, easily my top ten uh, favorite film scores. Um, you know, this this trilogy, of course, um, and especially yeah, these two that I've mentioned. Uh, you know, Empire Strikes Back, of course. We don't even in this film have um, Yoda's theme. Uh, you know, that would come later. Um, but you know, A New Hope has one of the very very best um, I think scores. Uh, you know, in cinema, and uh, it has adventure, it has action. Um, you know, mystery, um, wonder, and. Um, just epic moments, you know, in this score, and, uh, you know, a magic, a beauty um, to it, and, uh, of course, yes, we start off with Luke, and, uh, of course, you know, he's shortly into the film, you know, we have um, you know, those that care for him uh, being killed, and, uh, you know, of course, he, oh, at that point, you know, he has met uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and, uh, you know, he is um, wanting to um, pursue the Force, uh, become a Jedi, and, uh, you know, by that point, um, and, of course, you know, his, his um, carers in that sense, uh, you know, them perishing uh, is that final moment where he goes, you know, I want to come with you, uh, you know, uh, if you want to just uh, learn the ways of the Force, um, like my father, and uh, yes, you know, so it's a great way this film's set up, um, we have the mystery, we have the hints, um, of course, um, things to come, uh, but you know, we have this, so much to kind of latch onto in this film, uh, this arc of Luke, and uh, you know, he... He leaves Tatooine uh, with Obi-Wan, of course, and Han Solo and, uh, you know, all these characters are gradually, you know, teaming up. That's what I love about this film as well. Um, this adventure film uh, that kind of gradually introduces characters. Um, we have the peaceful moments, you know, of Tatooine um, early on. And um, we have, you know, um, Obi-Wan being um, introduced, you know, in such a way, um, of course, with the sand people and um, very iconic stuff. And, you know, I love um, the noise that he makes um, in whatever version you're watching. Uh, you know, it's a hilarious uh, kind of moment. And... Um, just when, of course, you know, Obi-Wan comes into it and uh, scares off, um, you know, the kind of the sand people and, uh, yeah, just, uh, you know, uh, rescues Luke and, uh, you know, he, he kind of um, starts talking to Luke and introducing him to himself and, um, of course, and just talking about, you know, um, the Jedi and, uh, you know, of course, um, you know, Luke saying, uh, you mean my father and all this kind of stuff um, sparking a conversation and uh, we have all this exposition, uh, but this mystery, um, that's the key thing, it's not all given to us straight away, um, we have, uh, you know, moments that are kind of gradually given to us information, uh, pieces of the puzzle, and, uh, yeah, just, uh, I think, seeing this film again, you know, I think it's genius, uh, the way in which Lucas has, you know, kind of placed different moments of exposition, um, you know, throughout this film, and, um, you know, the storytelling, uh, you know, stunning, and uh, I think just, um, you know, these subtle hints, uh, things to come, and um, we learn, though, so much straight away, you know, Tatooine, and uh, we get this feeling, you know, this magical feeling. As soon as Obi Wan um, starts talking about the Force, um, that is when the film, uh, you know, just um, becomes even better. And uh, you know, I think just um, this relatable, you know, kind of mystery sci-fi fantasy film at first, uh, but then it really is, you know, this mythology that kind of uh, is introduced and um, you know, kind of given to us. Um, that is just, it makes it so immersive and, uh, you know, I'm just so immersed, you know, in this film, invested in the characters, um, but, you know, the force itself, you know, this kind of all surrounding, you know, energy force field, um, of course, it's just a perfect way to kind of bind all of this uh, together, you know, this universe, these characters, um, of course, and just this magical feeling, uh, all these different planets we explore uh, in the franchise, but it's the force, uh, you know, I think really the first few scenes um, when the force is introduced, um, you know, kind of uh, in terms of 
the characters talking about this, um, but it's the key to the franchise and uh, why I love it so much. And uh, it's something that I can't quite describe uh, really. Um, but yes, you know, Luke, of course, is, is kind of uh, wanting more. He's always wanted more um, to leave this planet and um, to do better things, really, and uh, to go on an adventure. And uh, it seems like, and yes, he finally does. And um, when they leave Tatooine, um, that is when the film once again changes up and uh, it becomes something very very different uh, of course and uh, I love as well how um, you know the Jedi mind trick and such uh, you know kind of introduced as well before we leave Tatooine uh, you know just more hint you know kind of um, the powers of um, the Jedi and uh, you know they're kind of yes they're kind of uh, they're magic in that sense and um, then of course yes we go into hyperspace uh, you know later on in the film we have all these different moments in space and uh, we have Darth Vader once again uh, being the central character in terms of the villain and um, of course you know the Death Star scenes as well you know kind of on the Death Star uh, you know Grand Moff Tarkin uh, played by Peter Cushing in this film um, all this stuff you know the dialogue it's just so investing and uh, of course Darth Vader um, you know I just uh, I must say you know, it's one of the best characters in cinema and uh, I think of course James L. Jones um, voicing um, Darth Vader and uh, David Prowse as well you know, playing um, you know, Darth Vader um, physically, you know, this is just um, perfect uh, you know, kind of choice of, of casting and, uh, you know, voice uh, acting as well, you know, just truly one of the best, um, you know, kind of um, villains in cinema and, uh, you know, as, a, as I say, a contender for the absolute greatest and, uh, you know, just every time I see this film, I'm kind of in awe of Darth Vader in this and uh, even more so in The Empire Strikes Back and stuff, um, but, you know, this film, the way he's introduced, um, just that Initial moment, uh, you know, on the ship, uh, you know, in the smoke, and he comes through, and just the costume design, um, everything, uh, you know, just in this film, uh, you know, Darth Vader is just um, so compelling, and uh, you know, I think once again, this is not, you know, a point where we knew different things um, in the franchise, uh, but you know, just in itself, um, I think the mystery actually plays into that, you know, greatness um, of this character and the way he's introduced, um, you know, just. This character who can, you know, choke different people as well, and uh, you know, this real menacing, um, you know, kind of um, cruel character. Um, it seems like the initial, um, you know, kind of uh, drive of this film, uh, you know, is to see, um, you know, the Empire, you know, defeated, and uh, you know, the rebels, of course, um, to be, um, you know, freed, and you know, to, to kind of have freedom and justice uh, in the galaxy, of course, and the Death Star, um, you know, kind of being the climax of the film where the Death Star is destroyed, and um, we see him, you know, kind of. It seems like this would be um, going okay for the characters after this, uh, of course. And in that sense, yeah, it's really fascinating to see this, uh, how it kind of has an ending to this film. It kind of wraps it up, um, all the stuff that's happened in this. It kind of can be viewed as, you know, standalone um, kind of fairy tale like um, you know, fantasy, sci-fi, adventure film, you know, action film. And in itself, you know, it can be, you know, a standalone film uh, watched as a, as a kind of um, standalone film. Uh, but, you know, it sets up so much and, uh, you know, it's just... It's a fascinating film, uh, you know, making it as, you know, perhaps the first and last Star Wars film, uh, really, um, but also um, the one that opens up possibilities um, for it to go on forever, of course. And uh, here we are with so many films later, and, um, you know, it just kind of proves that, you know, just the subtle, um, you know, kind of, um, you know, uh, organic uh, moments where we have different things that are being hinted at. And, uh, you know, all oh, this character here, you know, he can be explored uh, or she can be explored at some point. Um, you know, it's just so much in this film uh, that's so intriguing um you know it just is uh, and seeing it as a kid you know, it's a very different experience as well you know kind of uh, the sense of wonder um but then again you know as an adult seeing it you know it's kind of just uh, heightened all these feelings you know kind of um, the sense of wonder the, the magic you know the charm uh you know and the comedy of course as well it's all here and it's really amplified uh, i guess and seeing it every time you know uh, better quality i guess you know through the years um you know on blu-ray of course on an oled screen um you know it just is a stunning film to look at visually. Um, the sound design is stunning. You know all the different sound effects. R two D two. Um, you know the lasers, of course. Every single thing. You know the lightsaber, of course. You know um, in this film. Uh, you know just uh, it lends to this immersive experience um, like no other. And um, of course, let's just say you know easily in the top ten. Um, kind of for me special effects of all time. Uh, you know the effects in this film. The miniatures, uh, of course, and just the actual sets themselves you know truly truly stunning and uh you know just um you know this truly this different world um that's also relatable and um charming even just different um you know moments in, you know in the production you know kind of um it adds to this charm this kind of um quirky world um that's just so magical um to kind of um be immersed in and uh you know seeing this film until the very end um i'm never kind of taken out of the film um you know the comedy always works um i can't say that for every star wars film 
going forward, um, you know, later on in, in the franchise, um, you know, in these original films, the comedy, um, you know, is just used to perfection to kind of make the characters even more relatable and grounded, uh, you know, in that sense, uh, kind of heightening the magic, you know, and the fantasy elements, sci-fi elements of this, uh, you know, film as well, um, you know, just like, for example, a film like E.T., you know, using comedy um, to ground a kind of sci-fi film, uh, you know, this fantastical film as Star Wars, um, you know, and it's used um, the comedy throughout, you know, kind of sparingly, um, but, you know, it's just, um, you know, some real hilarious moments in this film, uh, especially when Han Solo comes into it, and um, as well, just, you know, I love Alec Guinness in this film, and I think, for me, you know, and I love uh, Ewan McGregor, of course, you know, I'm a big, big fan, uh, but I think my favourite portrayal of this um, this character of Obi-Wan is Alec Guinness, and, uh, you know, he is just perfect in this film, and uh, I would go as far to say um, that he is, um, you know, I think this is, yes, the, the greatest um, Alec Guinness performance, actually, and that is, you know, I'm saying something, um, but, you know, I think this truly is above and beyond, um, really, uh, you know, other roles that I've seen him in, uh, actually, and, uh, you know, I love this character so much, um, you know, I think certainly one of my favourite, uh, you know, kind of five characters uh, in the Star Wars universe is Obi-Wan, and, uh, you know, I think in this film there's just so much kind of charm and, uh, you know, this this warm feeling, you know, that Alec Guinness brings to this, um, to this film, and seeing him teaching Luke a little bit, you know, of course, um, the, tra the true training would come later on in the franchise, uh, you know, with Empire, strikes back and stuff um, but you know just these uh, moments uh, where he's initially um, trying to offer as much as he can to Luke and uh, you know just this way of training him a bit and um, teaching him the ways of the force and the Jedi and um, you know setting him up really for his his journey uh, to come and um, you know I just love um, the interactions of course yes between Obi-Wan and uh, Luke Skywalker and um, as well you know Han Solo um, Princess Leia um, you know of course as well leaving the message to Obi-Wan and uh, that is the thing that sparks this initial um, intrigue, of course, and uh, Luke, uh, his involvement in this um, this kind of uh, narrative, and uh, of course, R two D two and all this, and uh, C three PO, and um, I just love you know the way in which all these characters you know kind of linked and uh, they intertwine throughout the trilogy, throughout the franchise, um, but you know how they all come together in this film. Uh, this is the one. It's not you know I, I can't really um, say even Empire Strikes Back has this kind of feeling where they're all coming together, and uh, at one point we have you know all of course. Luke, Leia, and Han uh, all together, and uh, just this this fun feeling of this uh, team up, and uh, you know it's this initial kind of energy, uh, you know, and just passion, you know, for this universe. Um, but you know the chemistry between these characters, um, these actors, of course. Yes, Carrie Fisher, the wonderful uh, Carrie Fisher in this film. Uh, you know she is so great, and uh, you know I think Princess Leia is so likable in this original trilogy, and um, you know I think she gives one of the greatest performances as well, um, of course. And, Harrison Ford, um, you know, of course, Indiana Jones and Han Solo, um, some of the absolute greatest, um, you know, characters in film, but I think Han Solo, um, you know, it's just so, um, you know, he could be the kind of ultimate, you know, character that he played and, um, you know, Harrison Ford played and, um, yeah, just um, seeing Harrison Ford, Mark Hamill and, uh, of course, Carrie Fisher in this film all teaming up, um, you know, it just is, um, it's priceless and, um, of course, as we know, um, the characters aren't quite, you know, kind of, um, you know, interacting like this um, for the rest of the trilogy or the, the franchise, although they are, you know, bits at times, um, but, you know, this film, it has a unique feeling, um, that's what I'm trying to say, um, you know, of adventure, of um, characters teaming up and meeting each other, and, uh, of course, this universe, this um, whole entire, you know, this this force, of course, um, this, this energy, um, you know, this mythology being created in this film, and, uh, you know, just um, seeing this again, it really is a film that just um, is so fun uh, to me, and uh, you know I think just the charm of this, uh, all the different characters that, that we meet. Um, you know, it's not a film that kind of has too much going on. That's the thing. The balance here um, is key, and um, just like um, the essential balance in the Force, you know, this uh, this film really is balanced so well. You know, kind of um, George Lucas writing and directing this film. Uh, you know, I think this, seeing this again, this is one of the most visionary films uh, in terms of uh, you know a writer um, you know kind of envisioning this film and uh, you know just um, delivering um, the goods uh, in in a way that you know really uh, for me is beyond perfection and uh, just um, kind of lightning in a bottle and uh, you know I think there's a reason why this um, you know sparked uh, an entire franchise and um, of course adjusted for inflation especially as you know, one of the highest grossing films and um, you know just it was a hit um, originally of course um, in limited theatres and, uh, and then of course expanding uh, and uh, you know just as it was more popular and um, yes just um, the amount of times I've seen this film uh, it truly is you know it's insane and uh, you know it's definitely one of my most watched films uh, you know, of course and um, seeing this probably 
over a hundred times, um, you know, easily um, this film. And uh, yeah, I think I've seen a bit more than, as I say, um, the other two in the trilogy. Um, but yes, you know, this film, just um, as we go through this narrative, um, the flow is never broken. And uh, we gradually introduce them more and more um, in this universe, uh, more of the mythology. And um, just enough, you know, kind of sprinkled in there as we go through this kind of action adventure film. And, uh, you know, we see different things, uh, but it's never too much, never too overwhelming. Um, only maybe um, for an effect of, you know, a sense of wonder and amazement, um, but, you know, never too much to kind of take in and, uh, you know, to the point of, you know, getting um, all these different moments, uh, you know, kind of um, suggestions and, uh, you know, seeing different planets and, and learning about different characters and, uh, you know, just their backstory and their history, of course, um, but it's never to the point where it's uh, convoluted or anything like this. Um, this film is told in a simple way, and that is the key ingredient, um, the kind of outlook that I have on cinema. Um, you know, it always comes back to the simplicity of cinema being mastered, and uh, if you can perfect, um, you know, simplicity, um, you can take films uh, to a complex level, um, you know, to a different level, and heighten things um, but it, uh, to the point where if you make a film uh, and it's too, there's, there's so much going on, and it's, it's not simply told, and uh, you don't master those elements, uh, the simplicity of cinema, um, it can become convoluted, and um, you know, to the point where actually, you know, it's not as investing, um, you know, this film focuses on um, all these different characters, um, but it does it in a very precise way, and uh, as well, a very laid back approach, uh, it seems like, um, if only because uh, it's told with ease, and uh, just a relaxing film uh, to see, and also um, so much going on, so investing, and uh, yeah, that is, of course, A New Hope, um, you know, truly is uh, one of the most complex films, uh, you know, really, uh, in many regards, one of the most deep films in that sense, and also one of the most, uh, you know, fun, uh, you know, simply told, um, easy to watch adventure films. Just from a technical standpoint, this film truly is something to hold and, uh, you know, I think this is one of the best short films ever made and, uh, you know, I really do think that and, uh, you yeah, know, cinematography itself is stunning, um, the variety of um, locations and, uh, you know, just seeing, you know, Tatooine and just the contrast between um, Tatooine and different locations as well later on in the film and, uh, you know, it just really is this um, all out, you know, kind of adventure film, uh, but you know, the editing, uh, you know, is, is key here as well, as I say, and um, the flow is never broken, and uh, just seeing, um, you know, kind of different characters and things going on, for example, with uh, R2-T2, um, C-3PO as well, early on, and uh, then you, know, you jump to other characters and what's going on there, and it kind of keeps this um, connection, uh, I guess, in the way it's edited, and uh, you know, just a perfect balance as well, as always with these films. In the original trilogy, um, something that I always am amazed by is, you know, the balance of action and, um, you know, big scale action pieces, um, small scale, um, perhaps, um, that are actually bigger than you would expect, and uh, dialogue as well, and, um, you know, kind of uh, things going on elsewhere, and, uh, you know, Return of the Jedi is, is really a one that has, as well, you know, the most action, and that still never kind of um, takes away from other scenes going on, uh, which we'll get to, um, of of dialogue, you know, and real uh, kind of uh, emotion. Uh, so it's just a way it's edited, and uh, you know, I think um, the original trilogy overall, you know, the editing here is just perfection. And uh, you know, I think um, seeing, you know, these action pieces as well in the film later on, uh, these massive, you know, scale action pieces. And uh, we started off, obviously, we had that teased uh, with the opening sequence, but we started off mainly, uh, you know, Tatooine with Luke, uh, very humble beginnings, and uh, that is. The key here with a new hope, uh, you know, it's these relatable, grounded characters, uh, you know, in this massive, you know, kind of um, epic um, scope uh, universe, and uh, we have big action set pieces, you know, at the end. Um, but of course, the key action uh, scene here uh, for me is, of course, the duel, the very first duel in the franchise between Obi Wan and Darth Vader, and um, a very tragic moment, of course. Um, although Obi Wan lives on, as we know, um, you know, kind of he becomes this kind of um, you know, this ghost in, in essence, uh, of course, where by using this kind of trick, um, by using his powers um, just before he's struck, um, of course, by, by Darth Vader. Um, but, you know, seeing um, that moment there is, is so tragic, uh, of course. But let's just think um, how fascinating and how kind of mind-blowing is this film in the sense of this is the first, um, you know, film that's made in the franchise and uh, really, for me, um, one of, if not the most kind of key relationship um, really in the entire Skull Kasaga um, being Obi Wan and uh, Darth Vader, and um, of course this um, this film, the very first film that's released, concludes that kind of um, relationship actually, and uh, you know it's very, it's always uh, you know kind of interesting to think on that, and uh, you know of course even in this film though, um, you know we have this kind of um, these hints of course, and Darth Vader saying um, I haven't felt this uh, since 
and then he stops and he kind of goes on and that is you know i think you know one of the greatest moments in the franchise um you know very weird to say perhaps for some uh, but you know i think just that moment there and how it leads on to that duel there and um you know that kind of the feeling you get you know at least i get from that moment uh, when you know he kind of he feels something you know it's obi-wan and uh, there is a past there um we don't know you know as of watching this film uh, you know, truly what that is um you know it's just even more mind-blowing uh, to kind of um think on that you know what would come uh, which i won't get into um but you know truly truly um you know the hints in this film and the suggestions and the subtlety um you know, of course and the things that are being set up you know kind of um through exposition and also just you know kind of um things that we can't see you know that is one of the um the key things you know star wars itself uh, i guess you know the magic you know the feeling uh you know things that we can't we can't actually see and we just feel and um, that is something that kind of uh, sums um this film up and uh, you know i think that moment there when we have um darth vader finally you know kind of uh, coming face to face with obi-wan uh, in a sense um you know it really is, it's a moment that sets up the entire franchise and uh, also concludes um so emotionally even though we haven't actually seen them on screen together in this film um you know at all really until that moment uh, that subtle moment you know the very subtle music there um not too much music when darth vader kind of is standing there waiting for obi-wan um you know this is just stunning this is masterful um you know genius genius filmmaking and uh you know i think when when they kind of come together there and uh they first meet in that first lightsaber battle um you know that, that duel there um you know it's one of the greatest greatest moments in cinema and once again even more kind of um you know um kind of admiral but this is the first film and uh, we didn't actually have them you know kind of um together of course uh, we didn't really um at this point know um what, would, what was going on uh, between them uh, but they have some kind of past and the way that is felt uh, is key there and um you know we have of course um as we know there is a prequel trilogy and uh, you know that is kind of exploring things in the past in, in the star wars universe um but you know this film it truly um it sets it up so wonderfully and uh you know i think um that jewel there the choreography here um you know i've talked about the editing uh you know the actual visuals um but you know the choreography itself with the, with the fight sequences here um and, and that kind of jewel there um it's very very different to um you know for example the prequels the sequels um of course and uh, you know i think it's it's kind of blending character emotions interactions and you know feelings between different uh individuals um characters um with you know kind of this uh you know this, this actual fight scene you know there's more going on than just um you know kind of sabers uh clashing uh in that sense and uh there's kind of character development in the actual fighting as well as the before and the after um of this fight and uh, i think it's one of the best you know kind of um lightsaber battles you know in the you know jewels in the franchise and uh you know i think it's one of the very best cases in cinema history of you know kind of an action scene where you know i'm so immersed um you know kind of uh in two different characters um you know and how people are interacting and actual um yes character development um you know in in an action scene itself and uh, of course the actual choreography here you know every kind of um you know movement is key here you know the way they kind of they, in a sense they dance around and uh you know it's just um the way in which um this actual weapon uh you know is is an extension of um their emotions really and uh you know just um throughout the franchise we have different styles of fighting uh of course but you know this very very simple uh like sort of battle um the way it's mastered here um is just something else and uh you know i think um all the more kind of effective because you know the placement within the narrative um after that of course essentially obi-wan dies um which is just tragic um because he would come back but you know not in the sense of um he was in a new hope um of course he lives on and luke can see him um you know hear him of course as we go through the franchise um but you know this initial uh you know kind of moment when luke sc uh, screams you know and just um cries out um you know him witnessing you know that kind of moment where uh you know when obi-wan is struck by darth vader um you know once again another one of the greatest moments in cinema history um you know there's so much at stake here and uh you know just um that tragic moment there you know i just i become so attached um even just you know just over an hour here you know of, of these uh, two characters obi-wan and luke skywalker of course um knowing each other in this film uh, but you know even then you know it's just um a case of uh you know i'm so invested in these characters and uh you know i always kind of break down in tears you know that moment or you know at least have a tear in my eye um when you know everyone is kind of 
struck there and he, he kind of falls down and you know, disappears in that sense uh, you know just um, and Luke his reaction there and uh, you know just the aftermath um, you know it's just wow what a film this is and um, that you know leads into the final act and you know the, the motivations you know of, of Luke um, is also to kind of revenge and you know everyone and kind of you know live up to this um, this character in that sense you know somebody kind of looked up to and um, you know we have of course Everyone teaching him uh, different things, but not you know enough to the point where Luke is you know a fully mastered Jedi. Um, so you know, that would come later, of course. Um, but you know he sets up uh, the foundations in that sense, and uh, that's what this film does. You know it really sets up this universe, and uh, you know does it. You know uh, in, in more you know kind of um, kind of with more ease, I guess, than any film really. Uh, you know I could imagine, and uh, you know setting a franchise up, and uh, you know just uh, does it in you know kind of. Just over two hours, and uh, you know it's just it's something to behold. This, and uh, of course, then you know, um, you know, wanting more uh, when the credits roll, and uh, of course, you know, the Empire Strikes Back um, came along three years after this, and um, you know, well, we have um, <laughs> that film to review next. Um, but yes, A New Hope truly is one of my favourite films. You know, it kind of embodies that feeling of hope as well, uh, obviously, um, so well, and uh, you know. The, the kind of desire to keep going and um, the hope and the, and the feeling of um, commitment, of course, dedication to, you know, kind of, uh, you know, those around you as well as, um, you know, yourself, mastering uh, yourself, your inner self. And um, you know, just, I think, um, you know, seeing this film again, uh, you know, that feeling of hope and just kind of determination really is um, so key. And uh, I think that's even more kind of amplified in uh, the next entry. Um, but yes, you know, this film uh, truly has everything. And, uh, you know, I think just, um, the feeling, you know, of this film is key. The feeling of Star Wars, you know, what you can't see, um, that, the way you feel that um, throughout these films, uh, that is what Star Wars, you know, kind of is. And, um, you know, it's all these different characters as well from different areas, you know, kind of um, across the galaxy and, uh, you know, just um, coming together to um, kind of fight against, uh, you know, of course, the Empire uh, in, in this trilogy. And, um, yeah, just, um, you know, good and evil and just everything in between as well, um, of course, uh, which we get later on in the franchise, um, you know, this truly is um, yeah, a franchise that has it all, and uh, even this film, you know, watching this, if this was the only film, you know, in the franchise, um, you know, it would be, you know, one of the most remarkable, you know, kind of um, cases of that, you know, kind of a film that has everything really, uh, a bit of everything, and uh, good versus evil, and, uh, you know, this, this deep undercurrent, and um, subtlety, and uh, just, um, you know, yeah, good, good, um, kind of, um, good fun, uh, I guess, you know, a uh, fun film, uh, adventurous film, uh, that's just so kind of energetic and, uh, you know, humorous as well, and uh, just, you know, epic, you know, this film truly is an epic one, and um, the final sequence, you know, in the throne room, um, after all that kind of fighting, you know, of course, with uh, with Luke and, uh, you know, all this, and, you know, Darth Vader once again, you know, a very subtle hint there you know and he kind of senses something in Luke and uh, we have all that and you know we have this this character of Luke uh, Skywalker who um, clearly um, you know in these final moments uh, in the frame room we're thinking um, you know this, this character there is more to him um, than was you know at least already been shown even and um, you know of course um, just uh, you know kind of the mystery you know is key here and uh, you know just I think um, you know leading into that final uh, moment there where we have this just simply uh, kind of taking, um, you know, a sit back and uh, kind of admiring, uh, you know, this this epic, you know, kind of um, jolly, truly jolly and upbeat moment, uh, of course, um, and ending this film has, you know, it's very, of course, we have different tragic moments, uh, but, you know, in this final kind of scene here, um, you know, in the frame room, where, of course, they're awarded with, you know, medals and stuff um, by Princess Leia and, uh, you know, the kind of exchanges here, you know, the smiles and, um, of course, the applause, um, you know, this, this is just purely an upbeat, um, jolly ending uh, that's just um, one of my absolute favourites in cinema history and uh, you know I think um, there is that kind of bittersweet you know feeling you know once the credits roll and uh, you know, kind of the music comes on again and uh, you know we have different moments um, you know in the score you know in the credits and looking back to different moments of course when Obi-Wan is, is kind of um, struck there and uh, you know Luke is, is you know his home is destroyed and you know kind of um, he sets off you know on this adventure into the unknown really um, but you know despite all that you know this film truly has you know an uplifting kind of epic, uh, you know, kind of um, jolly ending, uh, really, and, uh, you know, that scene there. The throne room, um, from a you know, very young age, um, I've always been kind of, like, a goosebumps on that moment there, you know, the actual music, you know, it's just, it's so epic, of course, and, uh, you know, just seeing them walking through and uh, how they receive their medals, of course, and, you know, different, um, as well, exchanges there, um, you know, again, hints of things to come, uh, you know, and how, um, 
you know, we have um, these characters and, uh, you know, of course, things uh, develop and take a different turn uh, later on in the franchise and in the trilogy. Um, you know, just this initial kind of, um, you know, experience in this this feeling, you know, just of these characters teaming up and uh, interacting. Just the fact that these characters are triumphant, of course, um, in this film, in the end at least, um, of course, you know, the Death Star is destroyed, um, yeah, as we know in the end, um, yeah, just this feeling, you know, it's so kind of pleasing um, to see, and um, yes, as I say, um, you know, it has that kind of complex though undercurrent and, um, you know, the kind of, the bittersweet ending in some um, regards, um, you know, that scene is just uh, one of my absolute favourites. Then the characters turning, um, you know, to face us and, um, of course, the credits are uh, coming back on and um, yeah, you know, just this, uh, the way in which this film uh, and every single Star Wars film ends, you know, I love uh, when the credits come on and we have the same kind of um, piece of music there, you know, the theme and um, what can I say, um, this film has everything really and, uh, you know, it's this mystical, uh, you know, kind of film which is dealing with um, very, very, um, you know, kind of, um, you know, human emotions, um, but this mythology, um, you know, that's of course fantastical, um, but it is based around these characters, um, you know, and as we go through the franchise, um, obviously, you know, it's, it's kind of about generations and um, how, you know, well, we'll get into all that, but, you know, expectations and all this and how uh, the past um, can affect you as well. If you can change uh, things going forward and um, can you take a different direction and all this, but, you know, we'll get to all those different uh, feelings later on, uh, you know, in the, in the series and um, I think this film it does hint uh, you know at these uh, moments though and um, that's what I'm trying to say it sets it up and um, even if you know it doesn't kind of fully take place in this film um, you know it really sets everyone up so perfectly and um, yeah it's just what can I say um, you know I think um, we'll kind of wrap up now um, because yes it is a very very simple film uh, to talk about you know it's more about you know feeling different things that are complex uh, as opposed to explaining them uh, you know I think it is too magical um, to kind of reduce to um, you know, kind of a review of any kind, if it was, you know, a 10 hour review, even, um, I don't think uh, we would, you know, scratch the surface, um, because it's all what you, what you bring to, to a film, um, you know, which can always be the case uh, in cinema, but, you know, especially with Star Wars, it's what you bring and what you feel personally um, through, um, you know, these, these films and uh, through the force, you know, can be, uh, you know, something a little bit different for everyone, I guess, and um, what they're kind of feeling. And, Yes, you know, a truly magical film, uh, an epic film, uh, you know, epic in scope, and um, the action, of course, and um, the music, uh, the costumes, of course. Every single element of this film uh, is beyond perfection, uh, you know, from the very opening shots, um, you know, the spaceships, um, overwhelming shots, um, that just, uh, of course, is awe-inspiring, um, of course, to the very, very ending, uh, you know, climactic, you know, battle sequences, and um, then the throne room, and, uh, you know, this truly is, from start to finish, a perfect film for me and uh, you know, it's beyond and uh, it's easily in my top 15 that's our reveal for now and um, yes just um, truly one of the absolute greatest films ever made um, a fantasy sci-fi film an action adventure film and uh, you know it's got comedy throughout and um, you know it's just so immersive um, it never kind of the comedy never takes over and uh, you know takes you out of the kind of um, you know the exposition and uh, the actual learning about the characters and uh, you know, being um, seriously immersed in a, in a film, uh, you know, it never takes away, it just kind of works in perfect harmony, and, uh, you know, this film truly is one of my favourites. Of course, A New Hope is one of the most popular films, and, uh, you know, in the franchise, um, it's at least very near to the top uh, in terms of, you know, kind of um, uh, people's favourites, you know, in this franchise, and, uh, yes, is it my personal favourite? Um, is it my favourite Star Wars film? Uh, perhaps there is another. Um, so, yes, that's another little hint, uh, of course, and, um, yes, um, for now, We'll leave it on this, um, one of the very best films ever made and uh, easily one of my favourite, you know, most cherished films and um, have seen this, you know, over a hundred times and um, every single time I love it more and more, you know, I just, um, I'm reminded of how much I love it and um, how much I love the franchise. I don't love every single Star Wars film, um, but, you know, I love Star Wars as a franchise, um, you know, and just, just, um, I will always look forward to seeing, you know, a Star Wars film, um, so yes, it's all partly due to, uh, of course, you know, the very first film in the franchise, and you hope, um, so yes, my final rating obviously is 100% plus tier S, um, so yes, one of my absolute favourite films, and obviously it gets, um, you know, there's no surprise there, the highest rating I give to films, um, this is, you know, just cinema, it defines, you know, how to make, um, you know, a blockbuster film uh, that is adventurous, sincere, and, uh, you know, has so much kind of weight to it, you know, I think, you know, Star Wars, um, you know, you know, it's like Lord of the Rings, you know, it's just um, a blockbuster kind of um, series, you know, the trilogies, of course, um, especially, like, just have 
so much kind of fun moments, um, but you know they're so complex, so deep, uh, you know, because they focus on human emotions and uh, you know in this, in these worlds, you know, of course, these universes um, that's set up and um, this mythology that's built, built on and um, you know kind of set up here. Um, but it's you know about these characters um, first and foremost and how they're kind of, you know, dealing with things in this universe um, that's so immersive and um, every single element though, as I say. The effects, um, of course, the action, uh, the music, uh, you know, in this film, uh, you know, truly is some of the very, very best, um, especially, you know, um, Binary Sunset and, uh, you know, the throne room, of course, the, uh, you know, the Star Wars theme itself, um, you know, wow, and uh, the Force theme, uh, you know, truly, truly um, some of the best kind of uh, pieces of music ever, and, uh, you know, I think, um, you know, this this actual score itself is easily in the top 10 uh, for me, you know, in cinema, and uh, yeah, I just, I always listen to this, and, um, you know, as well, just, the Empire Strikes Back, um, I will say, you know, is even better than this for me um, in terms of the score. Um, I listen to that all the time and, uh, you know, it really is. Well, I look forward to reviewing that film. And uh, for now, um, what do you think of this film? Uh, for me, it's one of the best um, films ever made. And um, every single element, of course, the writing, you know, personally for me, it's one of the very best scripts. I know some uh, would not say that, uh, but it really is. And, uh, you know, I think George Lucas, you know, a big thanks to him. And, uh, you know, truly, truly, um, you know, just... Um, I'm very thankful to um, George Lucas, and uh, you know he clearly made a film uh, where he wanted to kind of um, you know make people feel this this kind of magic and uh, this awe, of course. And it's such a sincere film, um, you know. Just um, you know, I had so much respect and admiration for George Lucas, and um, you know he he made this film. You know, he wrote and directed this film, and uh, you know just um, envisioned this, and uh, you know it is in that sense his film uh, in that sense, and uh, you know he created this franchise, and um, you know just. I think um, rarely has this this um, been bettered, um, you know, in the franchise, and uh, I think the writing is perfect, and uh, and more, and um, again, so much in this that hints at different things to come. Um, the direction is stunning, of course, and the editing, and um, just um, the production uh, across the board, um, it truly is magical. Um, you know, it really does live up to um, being, you know, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, and um, yeah, it really is. Um, it is. It is a film uh, that is just uh, one of my absolute favourites, and uh, yes, yeah, so what do you think of this film? And uh, you know, that would be a pleasure to hear your thoughts on this and uh, the franchise going forward. Um, you know, of course, a reminder: I will be reviewing um, the rest of this trilogy, and um, shortly after that, you know, the prequels and um, you know, the, the sequel films as well. The trilogy there, and um, yeah, just giving every single film uh, the respect it deserves, you know, deserves, and um, just um, you know, giving every single film a fair treatment, and um, you know. Uh, I don't love every single Star Wars film, um, but I do, you know, kind of get something from most of them, actually, and um, I certainly do praise every single Star Wars film, you know, in the episodes uh, in some way, um, so this is never going to be, you know, bashing on the franchise. I love it so much, and, uh, you know, I do, yeah, I, I don't um, love every single film. I have my favourites, and I have ones that I'm not, you know, that big on, um, really, at all, um, but, you know, that I kind of, I get things from, um, but, you know, or, or kind of, average you know kind of films um but yeah i do um have positive things to say about every single film uh, so yes stay tuned if you're interested and uh, it'll be a pleasure of course to continue this journey uh you know on this channel with you viewers and that's the key thing to keep the, you know this conversation going and uh you know it'd be really great you know it'd be really epic to hear your thoughts uh, on this um on this film here and uh you know the film's going forward in the franchise. So yes, we'll end it there, of course. You know, as I say, I could talk about this film uh, for a lot longer, but I think it'd be nice to end it there. And uh, again, it's about what you bring uh, and what you take from these films, uh, really, um, you know, how you feel that I can't really get into a review format. And um, that can be said for many different films, but especially for Star Wars, um, you know, it's nice to kind of give our thoughts, um, but also, you know, kind of, um, you know, there's, there's things deeply rooted um, in us, um, you know, the feelings that we get that we can't quite describe, you know, when it comes to Star Wars. Um, so yes, for now, one of the absolute greatest films, a magnum opus for me. And yes, just, um, you know, leave as much as you, you want to, you know, in, in the comments uh, about your experience with this film, uh, you know, how you kind of grew up watching this perhaps and all this. And just, yes, um, what do you think of this film? What do you think of the rest of the franchise? Um, as we as we know, you know, I'll be going through the rest of the films and uh, you can leave your thoughts on every single film if you want to, you know, as we go through them and, um, you know, just, um, yeah, share your experiences and, uh, you know, your passion, your love for this franchise um, because I'm a massive, massive fan and, um, yes, truly, Star Wars is one of the absolute finest films ever made for me and, uh, yes, once again, a hats off to George Lucas, uh, of course, you know, this film truly is one of the best and uh, one of my absolute favourites, uh, it means so much to me and, uh, yes, a pleasure to discuss this film and uh, yes, 
As always, take care, thanks for watching, and may the force be with you.